So on your Android TV, you notice after a while, your applications seem to be a bit sluggish. Even just moving around seems to be getting slower and slower. And you've now even started getting buffering in your favorite applications, your streaming applications. What can you do? Now, probably the first thing I would always recommend is have a look at what's running in the background. Now, a great application for you to check that is the background apps and process list, because if you click on that, this quickly shows me I have 14 things running in the background. Now, I'm sure if you've never used this application, I would be very interested to hear once you install it, how many things were running in the background. Now, again, we can see my device has 14 things on my Nvidia Shield Pro. Now, from here, you can actually individually click on an application and select the option to force stop. Now, of course, doing this multiple times a day for multiple applications, it can take some time, which is why I developed the TDUK app killer. Now, this is available both on the Google Play Store for your Android TVs, as well as the Amazon App Store for your Fire Sticks and Fire TVs. And I've just published the latest update, something that I did promise from day one, but it has taken some time. And this is one of the main reasons why I've not posted any videos recently. I really wanted to get this final feature into the application. And that feature is the custom whitelist. Now, what this basically means is I can start this application. I can click on set up whitelist. This will now show me all of the applications on my device and have a very easy toggle that I can just turn on and off, which basically means when I click on force stop all applications with one click, it will keep these applications alive. Now for a quick demo, we can see, for example, I currently have uh, IVC running in the background. I have aerial views. So let's say for whatever reason, I always want to keep IVC VPN running as well as aerial views. Let's press back. Let's now start the TDUK app killer. Let's go to the whitelist. I can now go down in the list and let's now find aerial views, which actually is at the top. Let's turn that on. That's now been added to my custom whitelist. And let's now add in Iversy. That's now done. Let's now press back. All of those are now saved into the whitelist, which will persist after a reboot. You can obviously go back and change it whenever you want. But right now, those things have been saved. So I can now click here and click on connect. That's now connected. Of course, on the Android devices, make sure you've got TCP debugging or USB debugging enabled. Once you've confirmed that, I can now click on count total running background apps. We can see we have 14 applications running in the background. And if I now click on four stop all apps, we can see nine of them have been killed. So when I click on exit, firstly in one second, it closed off all those applications. But more importantly, when I go to the background apps and process list, we can see all other applications have been terminated and it's left Iversy and Aerial Views. And of course, they can't terminate itself, which is why we see the app killer there. This really is the quickest way we can now terminate all applications running in the background. And when I say properly terminate, it does a complete four stop, which means that application now can no longer run in the background. It can't consume any more of your valuable system memory. And more importantly, it just frees up resources on your device giving you the better experience, better user interface, and of course, less chance of you getting buffering on your device. Now, this application has been out for a few months now. Lots of you did purchase it. It does cost $1.99. It's a lifetime license, which means you buy it once. It covers all of your devices on the same platform. So if you buy it on the Google Play Store, that will cover all of your Android TVs, your Chromecast, your Nvidia Shields, your TiVo streams, your on streaming box. Basically, everything from Android TV will be covered with a single license. And of course, you'll get those lifetime upgrades. So all of these new features, these extra things I'm adding in, you'll be able to upgrade for free. Similarly, if you want to use the application on your Amazon devices, in fact, let me jump over to my cube. Here we can see my third generation cube. I can go to search. I can just type in the word TD and you should see the TD UK app killer. Let's click on that. I can do more info. We can see currently it's rated four and a half stars uh, with 229 reviews. And guys, if you have purchased this application and you do like it, one of the best things you can do to support me is to leave a review on the Amazon website. And we can see some of those reviews here where you can see amazing app killer, 
Uh, amazing yet again from Tech Talk to the UK. This is a brilliant application, well worth the price. Another top app, very easy to use, awesome app, speeds up your Firestick and Cube, easy to install. So feedback does mean a lot. I do appreciate it. Hopefully, if you like the application yourself, you can also leave a positive review. Now we can see up here, just to confirm that the latest version is 1.0.2, and this one has the custom whitelist feature. And we can see it was updated on the 10th of May. And this is what I mean that you buy it once. If you buy it on the Amazon application store, you could install it on as many Fire Sticks, as many Fire TV cubes, even if you have 10 devices in the house, as long as they are logged into the same Amazon account, you only have to buy this application once and you'll get that lifetime license. Here, for example, on my Fire TV cube, we can open up the background apps and confirm we have uh, eight things running in the background. And let's say, for example, Just Watch is my favorite application. I never want to terminate it, as well as the Project Ivy launcher. I can now press back open up the app killer, click the option to set up the whitelist. And if your application is never changed, you only have to do this once and your whitelist is always remembered. I can now go through the list. Uh, let's say I don't care about download, I'll leave that one off. I was testing something before, but okay, so just watch is on, that's fine. And let's also find Project Ivy. There we are. So we can see if I quickly whiz down, I only have two things in my whitelist. Yep, that's all in there, just one and two. I can now press back, make that ADB connection, do a quick count. We can see of eight applications running in the background. I can now click on four stop. And we can see five of those have been killed in less than a second. I can click on exit. Now we can see that Project IV and Just Watch are the only things left and everything else has been terminated, freeing up all of that valuable system memory giving me a much better and more smoother experience on my Amazon device. So just a quick video today to showcase the new features that are now available on both of the application stores. I will go back to my normal videos. We have some new streaming applications, some new tips and tricks all coming out in the next few days. Make sure you are subscribed with all notifications and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.